The drive in your computer saves and stores your data, everything from documents to photos to software programs. The newer generation drives are solid state drives. They're gradually replacing traditional hard disk drives because they're compact, more durable, and process information faster. Just like portable USB drives and social media websites, solid state drives store information to their memory chips whether you ask them to or not. Each chip is designed by a team of an Asian man and woman who know how to read a blueprint to each other. To make the memory chips, they begin with a chip-shaped silicone wafer. Silicone is a non-metallic natural element that conducts information and is highly susceptible to contamination. The factory is cleaned twice a day, including a good dusting, and all employees are required to wash their hands. An automated system moves the wafer through over 800 production steps, 500 if the factory is producing the parts in China. Each wafer receives a Krabby Patty secret formula of mystery liquids, which differs from factory to factory. These fluids direct the electrical conductivity of the memory chips. The wafer is then spun around to send in its college applications. This machine keeps track of which schools the wafer has been accepted into. Any wafer with less than six acceptance letters is deemed too slow to be of any value, just like most humans. Here, Diane checks her Facebook to see that 95% of people have responded maybe to her birthday party invitation. To assuage her sorrows, she heats up some Hot Pockets for herself in the company's science microwave. Meanwhile, the imprinted microchips have now been sliced apart. A cutting machine covers the wafer with blue plastic wrap to hold it in place. There is no reason for it to be blue, it's just this machine's favorite color. Over yonder, six circuit boards are covered in molten lead which, once semi-hardened, will act as a near-unbreakable adhesive for the microchips to be bolted onto. This process takes a long time, so the employees often watch classic movies in the lounge to pass time. After about two and a half Martin Scorsese films, the boards have been prepped long enough to have their microchips slotted in. Kevin here has just responded to Diane's birthday party request with maybe, even though he knows he's not going. The brains of the SSD are now complete, and it's time to make sure the microchips have learned to have a little fun. The microchips' photos are taken as they ride their Genesis roller coaster. They can later pick these photos up in the ride's exit lobby. The next machine x-rays the board to ensure everything is soldered on correctly. This x-ray is run by Justine, who is also not going to Diane's birthday party because she thinks she's a skank. The boards are cut apart and sorted by factory workers. Oh hey, is that Kevin? Look at him trying to sneak in extra shifts, that sly dog. You're not fooling us, Kevin. SSDs are now typically half the size of traditional hard drives. Scientists theorize that SSDs may be small enough to fit directly onto computer motherboards in about 80 to 100 years. Every solid state drive is then labeled. Let's be honest, this is probably the only part of this process you won't need to rewatch to understand. The drives are plugged into a bay to ensure they function properly, and then move to another bay to undergo stress testing. Before they finally move into packaging, ready to be shipped out to a consumer or more likely to be sold in bulk to someone using a bot to auto-buy them the instant they go up for sale so they can be resold for 300% markup. <laughs> 